friends, welcome back to Sunday School. I miss Jennifer. Today is a very special day in the church. It is called Pentecost. And if you go to church, you'll see that the priest usually wears the color red. And we've talked about that when we've talked about the different colors that the priest wears. There's white for Easter and Christmas or gold. There's green for ordinary time. There's purple for Lent or for Advent. And there is red for Pentecost. So the priest will probably be wearing red in the church. So Pentecost is when Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to the earth to help people. And this Holy Spirit brought gifts of the Spirit. And that's why we're going to read this book today. It's called Shine. But I first want to read you the story of Pentecost, what happened on Pentecost. So we're going to read that story. We're going to read our book. And then we'll read the gospel reading. Okay? So the first story is the story of Pentecost. So Peter and, and Jesus' other apostles were in Jerusalem, along with crowds of people from many places, and they were celebrating the Jewish holiday called Pentecost. Suddenly, the apostles heard a sound like a strong wind. Then they saw something that looked like little bits of fire resting on them. So each one was had a little bit of fire on them, but they weren't hurt. Instead, they were filled with the gifts of the Spirit, which is the, what I'm going to read to you next, the gifts of the Spirit, which Jesus had promised to send. Because of the Holy Spirit, they began to speak in languages that they didn't know, and people outside could understand them. Peter said to the people, God sent Jesus to us. He told them all about Jesus. They asked how they too could follow Jesus, and he said, be baptized and do good things, love each other. Hundreds and hundreds of people were baptized, joining the apostles, so people often called the Catholic Feast of Pentecost the day when the work of the church began. So that is the story, that people helped one another and loved each other and they shared their homes and their money and each day they prayed together and broke and shared bread just as Jesus had. So that's the story of Pentecost that they were in a room and they heard a strong wind and they saw little bits of fire on each other and they thought what's happening and suddenly they could speak in different languages and the reason was so that the people of the world could understand them and they could spread the word of Jesus so much farther. And they, what they brought were gifts of the Spirit. And the gifts of the Spirit are in our book, Shine. I know we've read this book before, but it's a really important book. So we're going to talk about some of the gifts of the Spirit. So Shine. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are the gifts of the Spirit. Every morning, God puts the sun in the sky to shine, and God puts a light in me too. I know His. I show His love to the world when I shine. My sister needs help with her chores. Should I help her even if I don't like to dust? What do you think? Oh, I think I gave it away. Yes, of course, God wants me to love others, and when I do nice things, when I love others, God smiles and I shine. Josie won the race again. Should I be grumpy because I didn't win? What do you think? No! God would want me to have joy even when I didn't win. When I show joy to others, God smiles and I shine. And joy was one of the gifts we just talked about, joy. Kitty didn't come in tonight. Should I go to sleep even though I'm worried? Well, that's a tough one. Yes, God wants me to have peace because he is in control. I say a prayer for Kitty before I go to sleep. When I have peace, God smiles and I shine. So peace is one of the gifts of the Spirit. I want to tell my teacher something, but she's talking. Should I interrupt her? Oh, this is my very favorite one because what's the answer? No, you should not interrupt your teacher when she's talking. God wants me to be patient and respect my teacher. I wait until she's done talking, and then I tell her my news. When I'm patient, God smiles, and I shine. Right, you guys are getting the hang of this book. My dog's food dish is empty. Should I feed Oliver before I go to play? What do you think? Yes, of course. God wants me to be kind to people and animals. I feed Oliver, and then I go to play. When I am kind... God smiles and I shine. So kindness, one of the gifts of the Spirit, kind. Mom wants me to give my old toys away. Should I share them with kids who don't have any toys? What do you think? Yes, of course. God wants me to be good to others, even if I don't know them. When I'm good to others, God smiles and I shine. Right. I told Will that I would play with him at recess. 
Now I want to play with Aaron instead. Should I play with Aaron instead of Will? What do you think? No, that's not fair, right? God wants me to be faithful and keep my promises. I play with Will and Aaron at recess. When I am faithful, God smiles and I shine. Faithfulness is another gift of the Spirit. My brother lost my favorite ball. Oh, have you ever had your brother or sister do that? I am so mad that I want to yell at him. Should I? What do you think? No. God wants me to be gentle with my words. I asked my brother to please help me look for my ball. When I am gentle, God smiles and I shine. And I think you can see the ball. It's right under the bed. I gotta find it. So gentleness is another gift of the spirit. Dad baked my favorite cookies. Can I sneak one, just one before dinner? What do you think? No, God wants me to have self-control. I eat all my dinner and then ask for a cookie. When I have self-control, God smiles and I shine, right? God loves me all the time, even when I make mistakes. But I really love to make him smile. It makes me happy to make, it makes me happy to make me, it makes him happy to make me shine. So that's a good book that tells us all about the gifts of the Spirit. So now I'm going to do the gospel reading for our letter to the Word today. So this is the Holy Gospel according to John. The di disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves in a room. Oh, I think this is the same story. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. When, he be when the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them again, he said, I'm sending you just as the Father had sent me. And then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. So Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to them and sent all the gifts of the Spirit. So that's a good story, and it's about it's what happened, and it is about the, our time of Pentecost, which is today, Pentecost. So what we're going to do for our craft today is, we're, because we talked about wind, we're going to make a little wind sock or something that will float in the wind. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to have three pieces of paper, two, one, two orange and one red. Now the first orange one, we're going to make into a circle and we're just going to tape it. also do is if you have a picture of a dove, if you look up a picture of the dove on the internet, I couldn't find one this morning, you can tape that on the outside because the dove is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Remember I told you um, when Jesus was baptized and we saw the dove, right? That's the symbol of the Holy Spirit. So you could put a picture of a dove on it, you can color it, you can draw it, but it kind of looks a little bit like fire. That's why I'm using orange and red. And then with your other two pieces of paper, I want you to cut strips. And then with these strips of orange and red so that they look like fire, we're going to go ahead and attach them with tape to the bottom. So I like to do every other color but you can do however you want to. And you can color the strips of paper if you'd like to. But we're trying to make them look a little bit like fire. Okay, and I'm gonna put one more on. And then at the top, I'm gonna to take my hole punch. Now, if you don't have a hole punch, you can just poke a hole. And I'm gonna make some holes. And then I'm going to put a string through it and you can either tie it or you can tape the string down. Either way, whatever you like. Now my string is purple, but you might want a red or a orange string because it's supposed to look like fire, but I only had a purple string today. So we want it to go through that last hole and get it taped down. And then, if we hang it, and the wind comes, it blows in the wind. And that's our wind suck, because we talked about wind today, right? Great. So
So that's our craft for today. Now we're going to listen to a story from our song from Mr. Steve. Hey, good to see you, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to do a song called Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. Okay, we're going to use a lot of our arms to do this song. So put your hands up like this. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. All right? It's something like this. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. All right, let's sing it. God bless you all. Have a great day. Great. I, that was a wonderful song. I hope you guys all sang along. Thank you for joining me today for Pentecost. And I will see you next time. So before we go, let's say our closing prayer. So how do we do our prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and then you do far shoulder. I know it's backwards when you look at me. The far shoulder, and the Holy Spirit. You got that? Amen. Now repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit to us. And thank you for bringing us together today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.